guys here for the 2009 Cadillac Escalade. Today we are going to be replacing and showing you how to replace the strut. And obviously if you're here local in Pompano Beach, Florida or Fort Lauderdale, Delray Beach, wherever you may be in the Tri-County area of South Florida, you can come over to All Star Auto Works, see my man Corey, and he can do this job for you. Parts and labor. So we'll get right down to it. Thanks for watching, please subscribe. Basically, first thing we're gonna do is, if you're doing this at home, you can use the jack. Second thing you could do, uh, as you see here, we're using the, uh, the uh, actual floor jack, motorized floor jack here in the shop. So we're spreading out our forks to lift the Escalade up in the air. If you don't have a lift, you don't have to have a lift, you can use a jack. Just jack it up, make sure the e-brake is on and it is safe. So remove the wheel five, six lug nuts, take the wheel off. As you can see here, we got our sway bar links. Those, those are shot, so these are gonna be, need to be replaced, but this video is on the strut, this right here, the strut tower, so that's what we're working on right now. Alright, so he's going to go ahead and release the bottom two nuts underneath here, right here. Those are 15 millimeter. So those are removed. This thing we're going to be releasing both these screws on top of the strut tower and also the dampening system electronic off of the top. So that's the dampening system electronic box that we're removing there okay. off the top of the strut. And then you see the two silver, two silver bolts. I believe it's a 19. Maybe, maybe a 19 or a 20, we'll find out one second at 18 so you see where the uh, I'm gonna remove that and the on top of the other top of the other uh, bolt there is a A little protector, as you can see that. Uh, this right here is what we're after next. You see my finger right here. Okay, it's just a cover right there, if you can see that. That's just a cover. And uh, so you just take that off of that screw right there, and then you can remove it. So. It's, a sensor or anything like that. There's actually three of them that you need to take off, so you see the three. One, two, and three. And remember, they're 18 millimeter. So we're removing both of, all three of those right now. Okay, now we're removing the strut, removing the whole strut. So it's pretty much just two bolts on the bottom three bolts on the top then you take it down there it is right there so we'll go ahead and uh, start putting in the new strut which we have right here I'll put a description in the video link so in case you guys want to purchase it uh, it's two hundred and ninety nine dollars Shipping's like 20 bucks, so I have it here um, if you want it. If you want it fully assembled with the uh, spring and everything in it, so all you have to do is just pop it in, I'll let you know what the price is. Okay, so right now we're putting the, uh, the strut in the spring compressor, and it's being compressed so that he can release the strut out of the spring, uh, off of the spring, of course. So we'll get that all set up and show you how that works. Uh, now, 
you might not have the ability to have one of these machines here but if you do great if you don't we do sell this piece all in one with the spring uh, like I said you can buy that pre that all assembled I believe it's four hundred dollars I'll let you know in the description because don't quote me on the price right now Okay, the next step you're going to do is you're going to remove the dampening sensor. It's on the top and that is a it's an 18 inch wrench or 18 millimeter wrench. That's going to take that off cuz you're going to need that later on for your new strut. Now we're compressing it. Now you can use lobster claws. Remember, this is very very dangerous. This is very dangerous cuz you have a you're compressing a spring. You can we just compressed it so we could actually get to the uh, the 18 millimeter uh, uh, nut here, but we got to get a deep socket. So you're going to put the deep socket over there and remove that to pull it out. All right, now with the spring compressed and the deep socket on, we're going to go ahead and remove the top, and then the strut is going to fall right out. Do so you see that right there? That's out, and you can tell this is a bad strut because you got the oil there on the top and the oil leaking out of the bottom. So this is just, this thing is done, 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 done. So we'll put the new strut in now. Okay, now you're gonna wanna put the spacer in on the top there. This, this you remove off the top here. This was removed from the packaging right here. This was removed and then you took the old, the old spacer and you put it from the old one to the new one, okay. Now we're going to go ahead and insert it into our compressed spring. A lot of air tools in here. Sorry about the sound, but it's actually not the sound of air. It's actually the sound of money. So now we'll put the, the 18 millimeter bolt on there on the top and then we'll go ahead and uh, tighten that down this one right here we'll tighten that down and then we're ready to uh, actually reinsert it into the truck after we put our sensor on the top so it's in now we're going to put it in Put the sensor on and put it in the truck. Release our uh, spring compressor. back on, make sure it's clean, put the sensor back on. Tighten it down. Now it's ready to go back in. Just strut back in now. So it's in, and you just clip it in the bottom there so it holds. Do the two bottom screws first. And 
And then you're gonna do the three top right there, and that should do it. Tighten these down now. If you guys didn't know this, this is a number 13 millimeter. I don't know if I told you that earlier. Those are tightened down. Now we're gonna do the top. Put the sensor back in, and it's a done deal. So we'll do these three screws here. One, two, three, as you see those. I'll zoom in for you so you can see them. We got one, two, three. Now we're going to plug our sensor back in. And that's it. Job done. Put your tire back on and this thing is good to go. Thanks for watching this video. Again, if you are local in the Pompano Beach area, uh, we're here at All Star Auto Works. Full A-class mechanic. We got lifts, presses, oil, uh, air. We do everything here. Everything from race cars to Mini Coopers to Mercedes to Lamborghinis, Ferrari. It doesn't matter what it is. We can fix anything. So. 978-626. Oh, 978-626. 2900. 2900.